Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a little bit different of video, so this is going to be more of a tutorial. And yeah, so basically today I'm going to be showing you guys how to sponsor your new game that you guys just made. And as you can see, I've had some good sponsors. Daily Revenue 268, I have about 4,000 plays on my game. So decent stats. I've sponsored with 5,000 Robux before. So anyways, let's get into the video what you guys have all been waiting for. So when you guys are at the Creator Hub, you're basically going to go to you're gonna see your game. Click on Manage, Exper Manage Experiences. Oh my god. Then once you're here, once you're here, you can go dashboard, scroll all the way down, click sponsor, and then you'll be at the Roblox sponsor page. So this is where it gets a little interesting. So as you can see, you can't click anything. So unless you have a sponsored ad, unless you already have one, and you can go to ads manager, and this will take you to the new ad creator page or ad manager page. Mm. So this is a little different. So it's kind of hard to understand at first. As you can see, you can click on all three of those. All these are the same thing, so, or not really, but you guys don't need to worry about these. Go to campaigns, click create. And yeah, this is where it starts off. So as you can see, ad credit balance 16. You can buy ad credit if you log out of your account right here and or you can just go to the ad uh, manager page. And yeah, so let's get into the real creating the campaign part of this video. So as you can see, campaign objective, you can go to visits or awareness. Awareness will basically just show your image ads to people to increase awareness of your brand. So like if you have a group, you can just show it out to people through ads. And anyways, yeah, so I'm going to be doing visits because I want visits on people who experience my game and like it. And yeah, so I'm going to click visits. And so as you can see, add credit for my payment method. This is basically just what you're paying with. You can also pay with credit card but, or debit card, but man, I don't get the point of that. And so as you can see, lifetime budget, you're going to need 24 ad credits to support this. But I'm just going to go with the daily budget because that's the max I can do. So I'm going to put, it actually taxes a little bit. So you can only do half of what you actually have. But I think it goes for more than a day. Yeah, it does. And so as you can see, it's going to say your time right here. It's actually 7.18 and that says 7.17 for me. I'm just going to put that at 7.25. And then tomorrow, 7.25. Boom, there you go. Can't do it any less or any more. Or any more. Actually, you can do it for more, but whatever. 7.25, that's fine. And then you can name your campaign name whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Rebirth. Rebirth Speed. Right? I, I, it doesn't matter because I'm not actually sponsoring it. It doesn't matter what you're supposed to come all right, next, that's the ad set. So as you can see, it's estimated monthly 70 million to 85 million impressions. So it'll show this to this amount of people just based off what I have. And I'm gonna just remove console because I don't want console to be playing my game. And it'll show a little less, but it's fine. They probably wouldn't click on my game anyways. And as you can see, this is the approximate number of Roblox user accounts your ad could potentially reach. And for gender, I'd click all. I mean, you can't really target it, but I'm gonna click all of these, I'm just gonna do, these are the settings that I would pick, but just in case your game's like a hangout game, I would turn off 13 to 17, but whatever. And in the experience portal, so this is the ad format section, so sponsoring an experience will be the, what I'm doing, so it'll show on the main page, it'll show on the sponsored experience page, and as you can see, it boosts it to a lot, so 160 million to 200 million impressions. So basically, if 160 million people clicked on your game, you'd get 160 million visits, but that's probably not going to happen. Probably going to get like 0.1 of those or maybe less. But inexperience portal would just be games and like ads in games like Adopt Me. If there's a, there will be like statues ads where you can buy this and then it will show in there. But I'd rather you guys just select sponsored experience unless you really want to try this out and test it. But I would do this. And so as you can see, max bidding. This is cost per play, so it's cost effective. So if I put one credit, which is not worth it, but if I put one, it would probably be at the front page of the ads because I'm like, paying more. I would only get around eight to 16 visits because like, it would take away one credit per visit. But in this sense, I'm going to do 0 0.02. Anything less than that, 0 0.01 will not be worth it. It would not pop up to anybody, but you're probably going to do probably going to want to do 0 0.03 or 2 just based on your budget. If you have more than like, 15,000 Robux investing into this, you're going to want to do more, so maybe 0 0.05 or 6, but in this case, I'm just going to do 0 0.02, 0 0.02. You can do one if you have a little less, but it may not win the auction, which basically the auction, the auction is when, um, here, I'll show you guys. So if you do 0 0.02, you'll probably be popping up on the higher, eh, not the higher, like the middle, which is what I'm going for. I don't want to pay too much and get less visits, but so basically on sponsored, this, pro this guy paid the most. This guy paid a lot too, a lot, a lot, a lot, blah, blah, blah. And as you can see, this one doesn't have the most uh, plays just because it's AI probably. But anyways, um, this is basically like from higher to lowest. So let's see who has the lowest cost put into it. So as you can see, this game's doing really good. Actually, it's probably this one. It's probably just not up. 
this doesn't order doesn't matter, but Ducky Tycoon's probably gonna do the worst just because they put less money into it, but it's whatever. Um then as you can see you can just name this whatever. I'm just gonna name it rebirth speed run and set. And yeah, so it'll should reach one sixty million to two hundred million people. Then let's hit next. As you can see we're at step three, add. So we can select destination experience. This is basically just all the games in the sponsored category or the ones you've played recently. So if we click selected Hunger Games, it would just do a random game that's that they think is yours. But we're just going to select uh, Rebirth Speedrun, which is a game I made. And as you can see, it would look like this if I paid a lot for it. Mm. So if I put one ad credit per play, it'd probably be up here or in one of these top four spots. And 0 0.02 will probably be around here or less, but at least it'll show to people and I'll get plays for it and people might like it. But we can just name this whatever, Rebirth Speed Run Ad. And so we can click next after that. Then this is basically where you're going to review everything. So campaign objectives, visits, that's what I'm going to do because I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to just show people my game and for them not to play it. Daily budget, eight ad credits, so it should go for two days. Actually, it'll do double that. So it'll it'll actually, it says eight, but it'll do 16 for one day just because you're only doing one day. But after that, um, you can edit it if you want. Um, all regions, I'd say, all genders, all ages, mobile, tablet, desktop, then blah, blah, blah. Just what you got selected. So 0 0.02 add credits is perfect. Then you can see uh, it'll say add name, rebirth speedrun add, rebirth speedrun beta, and add format is tile. Then you can click submit whenever you want. You can click it. And then if you really want to, you can submit it. And it can't be modified after. So if you really, this is really your choice, but you can't modify it after. So I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do that in another video on the weekend because I want more people to play it because more people are on Roblox in the weekend. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for the support lately. And thank you so much for watching. And uh, hopefully this helped you out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, feel free to shoot me a follow. And because I've been kind of looking for some follows lately, but it's whatever. You don't have to if you don't want to, but. This is for some followers, only got 13 right now. <laughs> but if you guys uh, want to follow me or join my group, that would be great. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.